Xiaomi, a very familiar name to many people, you may not have bought their products, but you've certainly heard of them at least. By selling phones and AIoT products, it took them only 8 years to become part of the Fortune Global 500. Two years ago, they decided to build electric cars and announced the release of the first car would be in 2024. We're now less than 10 days away from 2024, and Xiaomi's first car has been leaked a lot. So now we've gathered all the information about the Xiaomi car, let's see how it's going. In November, Chinese MMIT publicized the basic information and appearance of the Xiaomi car. Let's start with the exterior. The sedan goes by Xiaomi SU7, which is powered solely on electric battery, reminds me of a very famous car, the Porsche Panamera. I wouldn't say that they are exactly the same, but if I were the CEO of a Porsche, I would definitely sue Xiaomi. But the good news is that at least Xiaomi didn't copy the wrong car. It's still pretty good looking and premium. Especially with the hidden spoiler, I think Xiaomi is still trying to make this car their own as much as possible. I must say, to me, this Xiaomi logo still doesn't sit well on the car. It's not that it's ugly, it's just that it always looks uncomfortable to me. There are a lot of optional extras for SU7. I won't go into them one by one. You can just take a look at them here. The SU7 will come in three versions, Standard, Pro, and Max. The appearance and the size will be almost the same. The main difference is the powertrain and battery. The SU7 standard version has a single motor with a top speed of 210 km per hour. The battery comes from BYD Foodies lithium ion phosphate battery with a capacity of 73.6 kW. Max range 668 km. And the dual motor Pro and Max versions have a top speed of 265 km per hour, a 101 kW cattle MMC battery, and a max range of 800 km. As the SU7 is getting to its launch, we get to see a lot of SU7 test vehicles in many places. In terms of driving stability, the suspension is very stable, and the SU7 looks even more impressive in motion than it does in static. All things considered, the SU7 performed better than expected in terms of powertrain, battery, and suspension. Let's take a look at the interior of the SU7. The interior is also in the style of a traditional coupe. Instead of Xiaomi's logo, it's the letters placed in the center of the steering wheel. The pedals are also made of metal and looks premium. Let's take a look at the rest of the interior from a different angle. You can see a very large screen at this angle. The frame is flat, like an Apple Studio display embedded in the center console. Recently, Xiaomi phones have started upgrading their assistance to HyperOS, which focuses on multi-device connections, and that includes cars. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the SU7's OS on the center console will surprise us. Although Xiaomi hasn't announced the price or release date of SU7 yet, but my speculation is that the price tag will probably in the range of 200,000 to 300,000 RMB, which is about 28,000 to 42,000 USD. The release date should be in January next year, as February is Chinese New Year, and they should take this opportunity to make a big debut. Xiaomi's chairman Lei Jun recently said in an interview, we spent $10 billion on this car, and it's also the joint effort of 3,400 engineers. It is clear that Xiaomi is very confident about this first car. I'm actually very optimistic about this SU7 as well, as long as it can keep its capacity up and not make customers wait too long it's sure to become one of the best-selling electric sedans in China. That's probably the biggest challenge for Xiaomi. I don't know what you think about Xiaomi's first car. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I will find some China. See you next time.